I need firewood. And <clears throat> I'm thinking food plots. <laughs> Up over the, like that hill, just beyond where you can see there, through all those raspberry bushes. I had a food plot there a couple of years ago, and it had a few deer coming to it. And I have a tree stand right here. But what I've noticed for tracks and stuff on this property is most of it comes up this alleyway here, right up through here, this old skitter trail. So I think I want to expand this out a bit. Then I'm going to plant this skitter trail. So, kill two birds with one stone. I mean, obviously I can't pull the stumps right now. But we could hand rake around them. And I've got a couple little implements for the four-wheeler. And I could drag a log around to till it up a bit too. So, um, pretty much... Probably where you see that island, the trees right there. I don't know if that's going to be easy to see, but you can see a gap there. And there's a gap there. And this is a little island of trees. And out beyond that is a landing that they used to take logs out of here. <clears throat> and then beyond that is a dirt road that's maybe sees. Jeez, I'd be surprised if it sees a car every other day. Maybe in hunting season that would pick up a bit, but there's only a few camps down this road, so. Um, so anyways, the plan will be to maybe go cut into the woods 50 to 100 feet, cut everything, yank what I can with the four-wheeler, take the trees for firewood, there's a lot of beech and maple, and then, uh, go up that way a little bit too and then we'll get in here with some tools i'll probably come in and spray to kill a lot of these blackberry bushes and stuff but then we'll come in with some tools and we'll see what we can do and i'm making the seed spreader to spread seed loam and lime so hopefully that will be done soon and there's a couple trees right here on this side that aren't stellar either. The top on that one's not great. And I can hear it creaking and moaning in the wind. So I'm probably going to take that one. Might even take that beech right there. I'm, I'm going to take quite a few. There's a birch right there that's leaning so hard. I might as well take that. Jeez, that woodpecker just about took my head off. I don't know if you can see him. going up that tree up that beach that beach won't be here very long anywho I'm gonna get at it I gotta start hauling some logs because it's uh it's gonna get so congested I won't be able to get them out. So I'll be lucky if I can get on the other side of them now. I might have to cut my way out over here.
All right, so, I mean, that wasn't the most exciting video ever, but I did get some work done. I probably have two cords sitting down on the landing, and I might have knocked down another half to three quarters of a cord still up here in the food plot. So, and I put trail cameras out. I did see a big deer print. I saw a big moose print down there in the spring. I can show you that. All right, so to me, that's definitely a moose. That thing's huge. It's like the size of my hand. But there's another one here. So it might have a calf, but if it's a calf with really small feet, because that looks like a deer print. There might be a decent buck running here. I found one rub from last year. You can see my tree stand. So I got my camera set up on the corner and I found multiple deer droppings around this thing. So my plan is to get the wood out of here. Everything planted by July then that gives them five weeks till they got something they can eat and we can be nice and quiet from that point on maybe get some patterns i don't know how much that really bugs them if i come in here a few days and cut but you can see i got a tree laying there widow maker down there we'll have to solve that another day it's getting dark this land is up in the middle of nowhere so, sun's going down. I don't know if you could hear that, but a loon just was sounding. So I went crazy this morning just knocking down trees, and then I learned that was a life lesson of uh, don't be laying them across each other and stuff. It just makes a huge tangled mess. You can't get at anything. So this time, I just tried to lay down some trees away from each other. I got some nice maple mostly, a little bit of beech, and uh, there's one um, beech, uh, I said beech, there's one birch in there, it's a humongous birch. It was leaning, actually you can see its stump right there. It was leaning so bad I just took it even though I'm going to try and leave this island alone. The road's a little dicey getting out of here. So hopefully that goes well. But you can see I got a pile of logs over there. I got a few here. I think this year we're going to cut them all up right here. At least stove length. I don't know about splitting them here. But I got some stacked over there. Got a pretty good pile going there. That right there is probably a trailer load. It'd be close. Uh, I think my trailer holds a little over a cord. So then I think if you combine these other three piles, that'd be pretty close to a trailer load too. So I don't know. I might have two cord down here. You can see that pile goes a little bit further. some deer tracks. Probably not that old either. That thing was running down the road. Man, you got chainsaw. I should have just cut that tree. Yeah, that definitely happened today. I would have seen that coming in. I'm usually watching pretty hard for that. She's done. Quarter mile down this road. This morning when I got here, water was running right down this road. And I found out the culvert was plugged a little bit. So I unplugged it.
airbag lights on. Now there's not one bit of water running down this road, which tells me that that was all that needed. See? Let's try it out. So I'll be keeping an eye on that culvert and I'll be dragging that road eventually. I thought that was a bear. I don't know what that is, but it's not moving. It's blurry on there. Well, I thought that was a bear at first when we popped out. an old culvert. I just never noticed it before. So if you like this video be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.